What's that I hear? Another cooking creation episode. Here we go. We got some special today, a special event. We're gonna do some corn dogs. We're not doing any old corn dog. We're not gonna do, no, no, no. We're gonna do it cooking creation style. We're bringing a little lobster. We're bringing a little tempura batter. We're doing a lobster corn dog. All right. And with that, we're gonna do a little variation of like, kind of like a bang bang shrimp salsa. It's gonna be a bang bang sauce that's gonna go with our lobster uh, corn dogs. It's gonna rock your world. So let's get started. I'm gonna show you what these ingredients are. So first off, we got our lobsters here. We have a cornstarch, flour, all purpose. We have some club soda. We have our sriracha, some mayonnaise, some sweet chili sauce, maypoi. And then this is a lime juice that we have. Squeeze a little bit of lime juice or lemon, whatever you prefer there. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get busy. We have our lobsters here. So now if you see, we kind of break down our lobsters. I already got them out of the shell. If you see, this is what you typically get from when you get a, when you get a lobster she uh, shell here. We're gonna split it down the middle like I did. And you'll see these, these lobsters are sitting right there in that meat. You're just, what I did here is just pull it out. A lot of times when you go to a, a restaurant or something, that's what you're gonna see coming out to your tail or your restaurant that, or your <laughs> coming out to your table that's cooked already is your lobster tails, just like that. That's how simple they look. I know a lot of people don't know how to break them down like that. So kind of see it's that simple. You just cut out the shell and put it on top. But now we're gonna go ahead and take it to the next extreme. We're gonna break them down so we can make some cone dogs. All right, so next we're gonna go ahead and make our batter up. Again, we got our cornstarch here. Flour. And I'm fortunate enough to have a deep fryer here, but at home, you know, you can always heat up some oil, get a pan or a pot going get a few inches of oil going in there so you can submerge the lobster in there and get it cooking. So get that rolling before you get this going. So this is our corn, this is our uh, club soda that we're gonna put in our cornstarch with flour. Okay, so with the cornstarch, or I mean, with the club soda, where you're wanting to use the club soda in there, I think with the carbonation, it kind of makes it lighter and fluffier with your, with your cornstarch and your flour. It makes your batter um, light and crispy around the lobster when you're cooking it. It helps give it a little more aeration into your, into your batter. All right, so our batter's ready to go. A little, little bit of lumps aren't bad, it's okay. All right, let's set that off to the side. We're gonna go ahead and skewer our lobster meat. It's a pretty simple task here. Nothing too difficult. We wanna get adventurous, you can do two on one. What? This is one of my style corn dogs here. So a lot of times when you're using skewered meats or skewers, you want to soak them, but that's because you're grilling them. With the grill, it'll burn up your, your wood. So you want it to be nice and soaked wet so that it won't burn up on your grill. Um, with these, since they're going in the deep fryer, you're not gonna have to worry about burning them or soaking them in there. Actually, if you soak them, you might have more problems because the water would pop out of that oil and stuff. So don't soak them like you typically do when you're, when you're doing grilled skewer. Super simple, easy dipping sauce for your lobster corn dogs. So it's kind of got a sweet, got a spicy element to it, a little creamy. So here we go. So we got our sweet chili sauce, some sriracha, bring that spice, that heat to it. I'm a fan of the heat, so bring it. I like a little bit of uh, lemon juice or lime juice whatever you prefer, just to bring an acidity to it. All right, and then the mayo, some heavy duty mayo. There's, there's even an Asian mayo that would go well with this. Um, really any kind of mayo. Gives you that tang, that, uh, that creaminess.
It's got a beautiful, vibrant color. It really pairs well with that like tempura batter that you use on that lobster. All right, let's get these two to marry each other now. All right, so there you have it. We have our lobster corn dogs. You know, you gotta make everything a little pretty when you're, when you're plating it for the family and friends here, man. That's what we're doing. Nothing about being nice and neat. And there you have it, man. You can take this to the bank and I want everybody to know who told you about it. <laughs> you got your lobster dogs here. Beautiful tempura battered lobster. We got them a slightly seasoned. We got a little bit of uh, the sriracha. Uh, well, I'd say it's more of a bang bang sauce here, but from my kitchen to yours, this is Chef Brandon signing off. See you guys later. <laughs>